And we're still looking for the five things that we need to look for, which is pacemaker. What else are we looking for? My name's Lorraine. I'm a community first responder for Royston. I work for the East of England Ambulance Service as a volunteer. We're volunteers from the community. We're deployed to 999 calls, uh, to life-threatening emergencies, where we attend before an ambulance or rapid response vehicle. There are six of us and we cover the whole of Royston and the surrounding villages for 365 days of the year, 24-7. We do have ambulances, but the idea is we're a local asset within the community. A lot of the time in rural areas, we can be quicker. The reason I started nine years ago was that my mother was critically ill and constantly phoning the ambulance service to the point that I felt guilty for doing so. I found out from um, one of the ambulance crew about a community first responder. So I looked into it, became a community first responder and absolutely loved it. We had to do assessments, exams and also a lot of online stuff. We have to fulfil like a handbook and we have to keep up to date with that as well as the monthly training sessions we have here with our trainer Jacob. And that keeps us updated and helps refresh our skills. We'll be sat at home uh, drinking a cup of tea and then we'll receive an alert on our NMA device. As soon as you get a call, um, obviously your adrenaline kicks in. You want to get there as quickly as possible, but obviously safely. The pressure is, is that there's a challenge that someone's life could be in danger. Um, but that adrenaline, you know, all the training that you have actually just sets you up to actually deal with the patient. So you kind of have to be able to think on your feet, be compassionate and really resilient and just try and be that voice of um, reassurance. Some people can be quite panicky when you first turn up, but once they know, they see the, uh, see the uniform and see, see us with a little bit of a smile on our faces sometimes and you know, have a chat with them, and sometimes that's all it needs. Our coordinator, Lorraine, does spends a lot of time doing the background admin, um, organising training, looking after our guys, helping us if we've had a bad shout. She, she's a shoulder to cry on, speak to. Um, she does a lots of fundraising. I've got a few different hats as a role. Community first responder, actual responding side. Deal with all the fundraising. The Razor 2 chair for our second bag. Anything to do with the second bag, we have to fundraise ourselves recruit all of our CFRs so at the moment we have six we need eight all the meetings do all the paperwork beforehand the statistics of how many jobs we attend how many hours we attend so yeah she does a lot of stuff really we wouldn't be able to do it if she wasn't doing it we're all volunteers and all of us have full-time other occupations we want to help people and I think you've got to have that fundamental drive within you to do a job like this, to put someone else's life in your hands and to be able to reassure patients and families when you get a call because you do not know what you're walking into. Royston, Royston CFRs!